participating in an activity to select leaders in a constituency or the country happens periodically in a democracy. Every election cycle, new set of voters join the electoral roll after coming of age. In 2020, 2.6 million first-time voters registered, constituting about 15.5% of the total voter population. It's an election year, and yet again, this important demographic is looking attractive to political suitors. Musa Dankroff polling firm, Global Info Analytics, explains the relevance of this group of voters in the scheme of things. First time voters, usually uh, when they tilt towards your direction, they tend to win. But they provide the little margin that you need uh, to cross over the finish line. And in this election, we're looking at about 14% of the voters being first-time voters, and that's quite significant. According to polling data, what issues matter to these voters? For them, it is jobs, uh, it is education, and also uh, the economy in general, as a, I mean, as a whole. So you, you see slight variation in their, in their priorities compared to older voters. Um, if, if you look at... Um, uh, the, the, the key election issues that uh, bother voters. Um, when it comes to jobs, 20% um, of first-time voters are seen as jobs, the same as their uh, uh, older voters. When it comes to education, it is 18% who said education for first-time voters compared to 16% uh, who are not first-time voters. Some first-time voters spoke about what factors will influence their voter choice. There are a whole lot of young people, some are not in school, some are about to leave school, some have left school, and then they are thinking about their future. You know, one thing that we have to understand as Ghanaians is that this is our homeland, this is the Ghana that we have, and there is the need for political parties, the NDC and the NPP, to actually formulate policies that will address our issue. I believe that we should also pay attention to the aftermath of every election where we go critically into details to see that political parties actually pay attention to the message that they send to us before we elect them and not doing otherwise. Scanning the political landscape, there is a deliberate attempt to back first-time votes. If you see uh, the 24-hour economy campaign and then the economy, uh, you can see that it's being targeted towards the youth in particular. And especially Dr. Baumia, uh digitization, it tends to resonate well with younger voters compared to older voters. Duke Mansell Poku, TV3 News, Accra.